right through these doors for the second consecutive year. High school students have traveled across the country to Purdue University to participate in the National Biology Olympiad. Let's check it out. We are, all right, the Center for Excellence in Education, and we are about youth, preparing them for our future, and the innovators of tomorrow. The USA Biology Olympiad is our litmus test across the United States for the very best students in biology. The event, sponsored by the Center for Excellence in Education, brings together the top 20 finalists who were selected based on their high scores from both the open and semi-final exams. We had 7,000 take the open exam. Out of that open exam, we had close to 600 that took what's called the semi-final, a more in-depth exam. And out of that semi-final exam, we had 20 right, qualify for the national finalists. Those 20 finalists are the ones that go beyond what's in their classroom. They're the ones that have that eagerness to know everything they can possibly know. This is a real privilege to work with students like this. Uh, they are hungry for knowledge, and it, it's just amazing. So how do you see this program benefiting Purdue? One of the ways this program is going to be benefit Purdue is putting Purdue in the minds of these particularly gifted students that uh, have Ivy League on their minds. We know at Purdue we have scientists that are world renowned. These students are interested in good science. The students are here at Purdue to compete for medals in one of the four places on Team USA. The four top ranked students will go on to the International Biology Olympiad in Taiwan where they will compete with student teams from 60 countries. Never thought that there's people as as amazing at science as here. Like they, you ask them anything about biology and they can answer you right away. It forces me to like motivate myself and start learning too. As we've gotten better at preparing the team, we've zeroed in on the things that don't get taught in uh, American high schools very much. And so they're really focusing on lab work and uh, the fundamentals that they'll need to go and uh, do a broad range of questions. Most of the stuff that they teach here is actually lab because that's stuff that you don't necessarily get at the classroom. Because they can teach textbook material, but you can read that on your own. But lab material, you might not have the necessary um, equipment or, they, or the organisms. And here they provide all that for you for free, so they give you that opportunity that you won't get in the classroom. When kids think of careers in the future, you always hear like astronaut or doctor, but there are really a lot, there's such a greater variety of careers and things to choose from. So just seeing, like, like I am right now, other professors and their work, to be able to know what kind of research is happening and what other opportunities there are would be really probably good fuel for getting kids motivated to do biology and other sciences. It's, it's kind of an experience to have the Bio Olympiad kids uh, appear here. Most teachers have had the experience of having one or two really brilliant kids in the classroom, but put 20 of them together in the classroom and it sets uh, kind of a standard. It tells you what's possible. These are the kids that really are the hope of the future. They're, they're the ones who are going to discover that one thing that will change the way we live. So once again, Purdue is excited to be contributing to the future of science. For Boiler Bites, I'm Anthony Leahy.